Um, so, so I'm Madeline, I'm a junior here and I'm a student involved in the Institute of Politics. Um, and we just have a couple uh, brief questions. Are you studying politics? I am, yes. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> um, so the first question that I have is, um, what is the greatest challenge and greatest opportunity in your country today? Still the greatest challenge is, first of all, thank you very much for this interview and for receiving me in Harvard. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, answering your question, the most important challenge that we still have is to change the relationship, relationship of power. The problem in Latin America is that it has been always controlled by elites, very powerful, small but very powerful elites were changing this relationship of power, but everything could uh, still be reversed. So our challenge is continue to constructing a new uh, set of institutions, uh, political consciousness in people, uh, in, to improve education, etc., in order to maintain power in the hands of people, no? for the people, by the people. And what was the second part of your question? Oh, and then what is the greatest opportunity in your country today? <sighs> we face a lot of problems, you know. But yeah, yes, we have opportunities too. Well, you know, the, the, the national mood has changed. Uh, the national spirit. I, I found really a destroyed country, hopelessness country. We have recovered hope. We have recovered national pride, and that is very important to continue to improve. Well, Mr. President, my name is Gavin Sullivan. I'm a writer for the Harvard Political Review. And I'd like to ask, how do you respond when what you think is best for the country isn't popular with your citizens? You know, in order to be president, you have to have credibility. And um, sometimes Ecuadorian people do not agree with my decisions, but uh, they believe on us. They believe on his, uh, their government. So we, we also sometimes we have done mistakes, etc. But they know that we are authentic and we are just working for them. So for this reason, they continue to support us, even if in a conjuncture, in a specific situation. A specific situation okay. Uh, they don't agree with the government, with the president, but they trust us. That is the main important point. Mr. President, my name is Forrest Lewis. I'm a staff writer for the Harvard Crimson the University Daily. I was wondering, how do you balance uh, managing and dealing with the United States as sort of being your trading partner and with tourism and other relations with asserting your disapproval of certain U.S. policies? Us. We have done all these years, you know. We, well, the uh, uh, United States is a very close country of Ecuador. Is, uh, well, I, <laughs> in my personal experience, I, I study in the States. I live four years here. The one, once, once of the happiest year, one of the happiest years in my life. Some, sorry, some of the happy years on my, in my life. So, uh, but we must continue uh, well, uh, giving our opinion when we think something is wrong. For instance, we think several foreign policies of the United States are wrong. Uh, I gave an example in my speech. Every year, a report about human rights from the Department, Department of State always against leftist government, especially in South America. And for instance, in the Ecuadorian case, we have signed every single instrument of human rights, uh, inter-American instrument of human rights. United States has signed none, zero. So how can you imagine that, well, every year we're gonna have a report on human rights from the Department of State when they do not sign anything. You have to tell that. Other example, 
uh, about human rights. Uh, there is a problem that the United States is a very successful country, a most powerful country in, in humankind history, but with very important values. But not necessarily, these values are universal values. And sometimes they try to impose these values everywhere. For instance, the definition of freedom of, of press. I know uh, freedom of expression is uh, to libel, uh, calumnia, yeah. slander, slander. to slander, etc. The president. Well, this is uh, uh, American opinion. I know, but uh, someone who slanders uh, doesn't have to go to jail. Well, here, you go to jail if you do not feed your dog in some states. So the, these are values, OK? So that is a problem. And we go to defend our vision, our culture, our interests, and our own values. For this reason, sometimes we have to criticize, but uh, United States is a very close country to Ecuador and a, a very important country for me at the personal level.